Okay, so when we left off, we had the three glasses here. We're in the light, so I might move just to lock it. Okay, so there you can kind of see it better. It's like yellow, kind of like a turquoise or greenish blue. And then the mystery cup, the empty cup. So the purpose of this now is I have the alkaline water bottle right here. It's probably been, I'd say, close to an hour and a half at this point. So the first cup was reverse osmosis water, which is about 5.5 on the acidity alkaline pH scale. And um, so it's somewhat acidic. We then have the, let me get better, there we go, that's better. And then we have the one in the middle, which is uh, after about four to five minutes of sitting in the bottle, you can see it became slightly more um, alkaline, going darker green and then blue and then purple, determining how alkaline it is. That's about a seven, I would say, from 5.5 after just four minutes. And now the biggest moment of truth, we're going to, well, I'm going to pour the water from the alkaline energy water bottle into the cup so you can see there's nothing else going on here I'm just simply pouring it in directly so we're just putting a little bit there we go that should be good and what I'm gonna do is add the uh, drops from the uh, pH uh, tester bottle so there you have a shot of the uh, glass so I believe we did five before so I'll just do one two three whoops maybe four hmm actually I'll stop there I think that may have been five let's see what happens here oh and look at that uh, did you see that purple okay so that's an hour and a half very nice so uh, purple as indicated on the chart is about a nine it's a there's a like a light purple at 10 this in fact may be closer to a pH of uh, 10 alkalinity so you can see the three here lock the Sun again so we have the yellow the 5.5 so all the way down here and then we have sort of like a greenish hue which was about four minutes and that was uh, about six to seven I'd say and then we got to this one and you're looking at about uh, what is that probably closer to nine I'd say maybe not quite 10 but look at that so again this is absolutely legitimate it does in fact do something and uh, not only does it alkalize the water it's not just changing color in a pH test this is actually mineralizing the water so that's a huge benefit to people um, who just simply drink water that's deficient devoid of minerals it doesn't matter if you have purified water because as you can see uh, this one, reverse osmosis, is actually purified water that's completely devoid of minerals. And uh, that's part of the reason why it's so acidic, is when you mineralize water, it does tend to improve the pH. So, as you can see, an hour and a half goes by, and you're ending up with water, water that's about a pH of 9. Uh, on the scale here that came with the uh, tester bottle, just the way they have it laid out, uh, seven sort of like a it's actually like a deeper forest green eight's blue nine is uh, dark purple and then 10's like a light purple so this may in fact just be closer to 10 pH and you might say okay well that's too um, high in the alkaline scale I don't feel safe drinking water that alkaline that's perfectly fine what I do is um, given this was an hour and a half just sitting in the bottle you know you would sip on it maybe pour a little bit out add some more water that's of a lower pH, something like reverse osmosis or even tap water, which tends to be about 5, 5.5. And what that will do is dilute down the alkalinity down to something sort of like this, maybe even a bit darker than that. It would be um, about 7.5 to 8 probably. So, so yeah, there you go. Portable water bottle, stainless steel, and it's got the water filter inside. And not only are you alkalizing the water, but you're also helping to... Um, to a certain degree remove contaminants. It can help eliminate bacteria from the water. It can help reduce chlorine, the chlorine taste at the very least. Um, I do believe some of the stones in there are actually binding to the chlorine and pulling it out of the water in my opinion because that's really, it, it does taste quite clean uh, when you put chlorinated water into it and leave it in for about like a half hour. So with that said, filtered water is always best to put in. But uh, there you go, there's the test. So results that can't be disputed so reverse osmosis water about a 5.5 
you've got your four minutes in the uh, filter. So four or five minutes, so it's about a 6.5 to seven. And then purple, hour and a half. We're going all the way up to about a nine to 10 on the alkalinity pH scale. So if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to uh, contact me at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really great too. There's a nice strap that I give uh, with the uh, bottle. In fact, let me go run and get that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks, if you're just wondering. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bottle into the pouch. So there you go, it's just sort of sitting in there. And I'm gonna put it on to myself and uh, maybe you can see me <laughs> on the camera, I'm not sure. Okay, so always when I'm going around town, I've always got this on me. If I have nothing else, I'll always have this. So it just straps around, the strap is adjustable. So you can basically just put it on like that. And that's it, just sort of hangs there. You can tighten it up. If you want as well, you can carry it like this. So it's really nice. Uh, there's another case I had at one point, and uh, not of this style, it's like a black one, and they're terrible, they really don't work. But this case, the silver one, uh, it's great. Very highly useful. So I hope you were able to see that from there. Um, that should basically cover it. So uh, indisputable proof, We've got our alkaline water right here. So uh, there you have it. The Alkaline Energy Flask does in fact do what it's supposed to do.